Greater Bay Technology, a Chinese unicorn that is a subsidiary of China's state-owned Guangzhou Automobile Group, claims to offer a solution to what is perhaps one of the most significant problems of electric vehicle batteries, a reduction in range and power in cold temperatures. Hello, and welcome to eZero, the channel where we cover electric vehicles news, updates, and content. In today's video, we're going to look at the Phoenix battery, an all-weather battery that has amazing fast charging capabilities and an incredibly long lifespan. A research that surveyed 7,000 vehicles found that the range of certain electric vehicles may decrease by as much as 35% when exposed to cold weather. However, the loss of range varies depending on the kind of electric vehicle. To address the effects of cold weather on battery performance and range, manufacturers such as Tesla introduced the use of battery preconditioning that allows the batteries to be warmed up before driving, or advanced thermal management systems that regulates the battery temperature. Now, Greater Bay Technology, a company that is not known by many, claims to have found a permanent solution to these EV battery limitations. Greater Bay Technology's Phoenix Battery According to Bloomberg, the Phoenix Battery, produced by Greater Bay Technology, is made up of superconducting materials that have thermal management capabilities. This enables the battery to heat up from minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 77 degrees Fahrenheit in only 5 minutes. The co-founder and chairman of Greater Bay Technology, Huang Xiangdong, said that the battery functions normally and charges in less than 6 minutes, regardless of the conditions. The startup has joined the worldwide drive to shorten the time needed to charge batteries, increase driving range, and make batteries safer. This trend is being spearheaded by Chinese businesses such as CATL, BYD, Goshen High Tech, and a great number of others. Within its first two years of operation, Greater Bay Technology had a value of more than $1 billion. According to reports, its first-generation battery cell, which charges in the same amount of time as it takes for a gas automobile to refuel, was an early success for the company. It only takes its battery five minutes to get 124 miles of range from charging, and it only takes eight minutes to go from having no charge to having 80% of its charge. Shandong also claims that the startup company is in discussions with other automobile manufacturers who are interested in acquiring the company's new battery. The co-founder of the company said that the Phoenix battery has the ability to deliver a range of 621 miles, or 1,000 kilometers, on a single charge. The Tesla Model 3, as a comparison, has a range of about 300 miles, fully charged. Now that is impressive. Not only is the battery range impressive, the Phoenix allegedly has an extended lifespan, with the company adding it can last up to 10 years or cover a distance up to 800,000 kilometers, or 497,000 miles, before needing replacement. This durability, combined with its fast charging and performance in cold weather, positions it as a potential game changer in the electric vehicle industry. EV battery that charges near full in six minutes. Greater Bay Technology has just introduced its remarkable Phoenix EV battery, which the company claims can function well even when exposed to cold conditions. In addition to this, the battery that powers the Phoenix EV is capable of charging at a lightning-fast rate. Depending on the power source, it may reach anywhere from 10% to 80% of its maximum capacity after being charged for only 3 to 6 minutes. Reducing the amount of time needed to charge an electric vehicle makes the vehicle easier to operate and may even make it safer, and this might result in increased consumer interest in EVs. Greater Bay Technology has only been operating since 2020, according to Electric. This means it has produced these astounding advancements in only three years. Greater Bay Technology has already successfully incorporated its quick-charging batteries into a Chinese automobile, which is the GAC Aeon 5 Plus SUV. This is in contrast to the many other scientists who have made significant breakthroughs in battery technology but have not been able to bring them to market. Already, electric vehicles are gaining a larger following both in the United States and throughout the globe, and the introduction of innovations such as this one might increase the desirability of these inexpensive and environmentally friendly automobiles among consumers. People will spend less money on petrol as a result of this, and it will also contribute to the reduction of heat-trapping gas that is emitted into the atmosphere. According to estimations provided by Statista, passenger automobiles are responsible for the annual emissions of 3.3 billion tons of greenhouse gas carbon dioxide. However, electric cars do not create this kind of of toxic emissions. Therefore, making the move to EVs might assist in cooling off the planet. According to Electrex reporting, Chinese automaker GAC is planning to begin using Phoenix EV batteries in its cars sometime in 2023, and it is not clear when exactly this technology will become widespread in other nations. Acquiring knowledge of the EV range. The reported range of a vehicle is determined by using standardized testing that is carried out on a dynamometer inside a testing facility. Nevertheless, electric vehicle users are aware that officially reported range
range should only be used as a guideline. In real-world situations, the performance of electric vehicles, like the performance of gasoline-powered vehicles, may vary depending on the terrain, passenger load, speed, driving style, and the temperature outside. All of these elements have an effect on the vehicle's fuel economy, that is, how far a vehicle can go on a certain quantity of gasoline, or kilowatt-hours in the case of EVs, and thus its range. However, the design of the vehicle might have an effect on its fuel economy. A vehicle's range increases in proportion to the amount of energy its battery pack is able to store. A far larger battery would be required for a bus if it were to go the same distance as a car with 60 kilowatt hours of power. On each particular journey, however, the fuel efficiency of the car may be affected, either favorably or unfavorably, by factors external to the vehicle. And this is not something that is exclusive to electric automobiles. If you floor the accelerator between red lights or travel on a day when the temperature is below freezing, your fuel economy will suffer regardless of the kind of gasoline you use. Electric cars operating in cold conditions. One of the most common criticisms leveled against EVs ever since their introduction to the market is that they perform poorly in cold weather. It is true that temperature is a culprit when it comes to range, despite the fact that many drivers of electric vehicles in Canada and Norway would argue otherwise. Temperature changes significantly from one day to the next, mostly as a result of auxiliary heating and cooling systems. The energy that comes from the battery not only powers the car itself, but also powers auxiliary systems, most important of which is the system that controls the temperature within the vehicle cabin, as well as the temperature of the battery. People often believe that decreased battery performance is the cause of a loss of range when temperatures are low. Even though lithium-ion batteries are slower at severe temperatures, freezing temperatures limit their capacity to store and release energy. This has a far less significant influence on the range than auxiliary loads does. In addition, car manufacturers have developed battery thermal management systems to maintain batteries within the appropriate temperature range, and this further reduces the amount of performance loss experienced by batteries, but comes at the expense of auxiliary load. How does temperature affect the range of an EV? Geotab conducted an analysis of the average vehicle travel efficiency based on temperature. Using data that has been anonymized from 5.2 million journeys that were performed by 4,200 EVs representing 102 distinct make-model-year combinations. Based on the research, we found that the majority of EVs adhere to a temperature range curve that is very consistent, independent of the manufacturer or model. Additionally, whereas hot and cold temperatures both have an effect on range, colder regions have a greater influence. And last, the optimal temperature for optimal fuel economy for car trips is 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21.5 degrees Celsius. In addition, EVs lose 54% of their claimed range when the temperature drops to 5 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 15 degrees Celsius. So this means that a vehicle that is rated for 250 miles, 402 kilometers, would only receive an average of 135 miles, 217 kilometers, of range at this temperature. The price that must be paid to feel at ease. It's not a coincidence that the most productive journeys were done on days when the average temperature outside was between 70 and 71 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 and 22 degrees Celsius. If you get into your vehicle and the temperature outside is lower than 71 Fahrenheit, you are more likely to put on the heat. And if the temperature is higher than 71, you're more likely to turn on the air conditioning. Batteries, much like people, want to have a pleasant environment and operate at their peak when the temperature is moderate. The onboard thermal management system of an electric car is intended to pull energy to either warm or cool the battery in the vehicle, depending on the situation. This helps to prevent the battery from degrading and also guarantees that it functions within the optimal range. Well, that wraps things up. Leave a comment below letting us know whether you think the scientists will be able to fully address the issue with the reduction of range on cooler temperatures. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. Until next time.